Hey guys. Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm Jeff. I'm Jay. I'm Fang. I'm Ling. And we are Team X. We are in this semester. We uh, observe the international student group. And uh, as we all know, our, our campus is very cultural diversified. We have many international students who come from, who has like different cultural backgrounds, and uh, most of them come from China, and uh, the rest of them uh, come from respectively from some Asian co country such as Japan, Korea, Vietnam, and some of them come from African countries like Burundi and Luanda. Um, according to our interview, we found out that. Even though international students have many different cultural identities, but as a group in our school, they still have common things that are different than other student groups. We define those similarities in four aspects, um, behaviors, characters, and authority and the experience. And the first, I'm going to uh, tell you something about behaviors. The result of behaviors are mostly come from the observation we notice that many of international students are same game player, like this gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> they spend many times in their room and house, old bone, and playing video games and card car games. Besides, they like cook, especially Chinese students. Some of them stay in library during uh, during the school time and stay very like late. Like us, like us. Uh, <laughs> uh, when they're in library. Uh, you can tell they prefer to stay, I mean, study together rather than study alone. And uh, they are very uh, collective vision, I mean, group oriented. Uh, international students not usually open conversation with others compared to uh, most uh, American students. But if you talk to them, they are very friendly. They, are, they would like to talk to you. During the class time, they are always quiet, but they are good listeners. They don't interrupt professors during the class. but. Actually, they don't really interpret, in, interrupt people in real life. Uh, next, Jeff is going to uh, talk about the characters about international students. Okay, now, um, when we talk about the international students, uh, we may consider that it is one of the uh, most special groups at George Fox University uh, because we are coming from different countries and cultural backgrounds. Hence, uh, the, char the characters of the international student may also differ from the uh, native student at Fox. <laughs> According to our observations, we can draw a conclusion of the characters of the uh, international student. Firstly, um, they are a group of friendly people with great hospitality. Besides, um, they are very diligent, but they are also very shy and quiet in the meantime. They don't know how to express themselves um, because of the language barriers. However, they are still quite um, very easygoing despite the uh, language problem. Last but not the least, uh, like I mentioned above, um, we are coming from different parts of the world. Therefore, uh, cultural diversity is also one of our special um, characteristics. Um, and then Fang is going to talk about the authority. Now it's your turn. Okay. Hi. Hi. Um, in our interviews, the most of the international students who came from uh, Asian cultures are kind, task or or hand, a pow large power distance and self restrict. If their friends need to help, they will try their best to help um, their friends. The good example is some Chinese students sell bubble teas in Britain <coughs> in last month. The most of their friend, the, their Chinese friends bought their teens because they want their friends can finish assignment. Besides they their task or intent, they hope their professors can give more details for the assignments as they can. They are also large power distance. They res they respect their professors and uh, others. It is the reasons why only few of international students are guest their professors in class. Some of them are self restrict. They can stay in libraries all the days. They because they believed learning is the larger returns to their parents. Last 
and Ning will talk about the experience. Hi everyone. Um, according to our investigation, we have found that some of the international students, their behavior is very close to their routine habits. And most of their our interview e have admitted that they have uh, some changes after they studying in United States. And most part of them still remain their customs, such as like they are very shy and they are very quiet when they talk to the when they talk to the strangers or foreigners at the first time they met. But still they like to fret stranger as if they're friends. However, they usually prefer to be a good listener when they hear people talking and they are usually have a get togethers to celebrate their traditional festival. And also they like to follow their traditional ideas as well. And after they came here they starting awareness they could adapt to the new surroundings and make adjust an adjustments very quick. And when they are studying in Christian community, there are some international students who didn't have any religions. They became part of Christians. And some of them did not have uh, their religion yet, but they still believe in their their religion in their countries. Yeah. And uh, conclusion, although we focus on only on international student group, uh, still, every individuals are different, um, even though they're maybe not in the same group. Uh, we cannot use the principle or knowledge uh, we learned in class to define or distinguish people. I mean, even though they're from different cultures. However, people really do have uh, similarities based on cultures. Um, we only discover quite a few things about them, and uh, there are so many good or maybe things about them. Um, we don't know yet. In this project, we found out that um, it is really helpful by using the um, cultural anthropology knowledge to get to know people from different cultural groups. Um, and the, the very good part is we really enjoy this process. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.